Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 899. Hey, if you want to download this workbook, click on the link below the video. Hey, in Excel Magic Trick 898, we looked up a row of data and displayed the items vertically. Here in 899, we want to look up a column of data, but instead of returning the whole column, we want to just match a criterion and display the elements vertically. So for example, if I select day three here, product seven, it needs to find this column, find the product seven and return the sales rep name. If I select day two, it needs to find this column first, match the criteria product seven, and then return the sales rep names here. All right, uh, I'm going to do a 2010 uh, formula here. The 2003 uh, formula is over here. All the array elements are exactly the same. We just use a slightly different function. All right, the, the first thing is we want to uh, look up a column. In 98, we looked up a row here. We're going to look up a column. And the index function is perfect for that. Index, we give it the whole two-dimensional uh, array. And I'm going to hit the F4 key to lock that in all directions. And here we want to, if we're going to return a column, a particular column, there's our criteria right there. The criteria will determine the column, and we want all of the rows. So the way index works is the array, comma, row number. If you want all of the rows, you either leave it blank or put a zero. So I'm going to skip over it. And now the column. We simply use the match function, which can look up day two, and I'm going to hit the F4 key, within this range right here. It will return the relative position, so it will return one, two, and that means second column. I'm going to F4 that to lock it. We have data sorted here, but uh, perhaps it's not, so I'm going to do exact match. If it is sorted, then use um, leave this argument off all entirely. All right, so that match will deliver a 2 to the index column number. That nothing will return all the rows. So when I highlight this and hit the F9, you can see, sure enough, it's returning that column of data. Now, we need to, uh, an index, when it's looking up a row or a column, returns a range of values. We need to check and count how many product 7s there are. So I'm just going to use the count if. That's the range right there, comma, and the criteria is product 7. And I'm going to hit uh, F4. I don't know why I'm hitting F4. I am going to copy this little piece right here, Control-C. I'm going to hit Enter. All right, so now it's counting 3. If I change it to day uh, 3, it's got 7. If I change this to product 8, so it looks like it's working just fine. All right, now let's build our formula to extract the records. Right now it needs to look up this, find the position, extract this. Well, we can use index if these are the items we actually want to return here. I'm going to say index. The array, sales rep names, F4 to lock it, comma. And now um, let me suspend this for a moment and select day two. It's always easier to pick one that has multiple, uh, what is it, product seven. So now we have three items we need to return. Three, uh, sales rep one, sales rep three, and sales rep 10, or nine. All right, so the index is expecting a single row number, and we have three. So we're going to have to use this um, small function if we were in 2003. The small function just allows us will dump the row 1, 3, and 9 into the small and then extract them as we copy the formula down. Now, in 2003, you use small and you have to use Control shift enter Actually, 2007 also. But we're going to use the aggregate. The aggregate function is great because it has a bunch of built-in functions. One of them is small, number 15. And this function handles arrays without Control shift enter That's the first argument. The second one is the options. I'm going to say ignore errors, because we are going to get divide by zero errors, comma, and then the array. Well, remember, what are we dumping into to index or into small? 
we're dumping row numbers. So I'm going to say in parentheses the row of this right here, F4. That's not going to work because that will give me 3, 4, 5. So I subtract from it row F4. That's not going to work either because 3 minus 3 is 0. So I add 1 back in. All right, so that's the row numbers. And this is all in this array, uh, array argument. Now, right now, if I highlight this and hit the F9 key, you'll see that it is all of the rows. And we don't want all of them. We just want 1, 3, and 9, right? So we're going to divide it by and create an array of criteria in parentheses. All right, you ready for this? What do we need to match? We've looked up the column, and we need to say, is anything in that column equal to product 7? Control V. There's our element, formula element, that looked up the actual uh, column. And then all we say is anything in that equal to product 7, and then F4. All right, and then close parentheses. Now, if I highlight the rows divided by that in the return column matching against product 7, if I do that and hit F9, I get 1, 3, and 9. Now, see the aggregate. The 15 says small, so we'll extract this one first, then the 3, then the 9. The 6 avoids us, uh, helps us avoid those divide by 0 errors. Control Z. All right, so that is the array, comma. Just like small, you need a number incrementer as you copy it down. So I'm going to say rows. J5, it looks like. So J dollar sign 5 colon J5. So just like the small, there's our K. We close parentheses on that. That aggregate, if we highlight this and hit the F9, that's just delivering 1. When we copy it down to the next row, it'll deliver 3 and then 9. All right, so that's the row number. Close parentheses, Control-Enter, not Control-Shift-Enter, and then copy it down. Now we're going to get some num error. So we could certainly use uh, if error if we wanted to. Uh, if error came in 2007. So I say if error, if that thing turns out to be an error, then what do we want? Double quotes. Now in 2003, here, I'm going to scoot this down here just a little bit so we can see this. It's uh, basically it's similar. Uh, three, you have to use rows and uh, this and compare it to that count we did up here uh, in 2007. You still have to use the small because there's no aggregate, but you could use the if error. But there we have it, the small if. And then it's that same range that looked up a column. Is it equal to that product? All right. so. Uh, we can go ahead and test this. If I test uh, product 1, and I'm going to say there's a 7. I mean, day 1, product 4. So there you go. Uh, looking up a particular column, matching criteria in it, and extracting the, from the relative position from a different column. See you next video.